here would be a good time to update where we're at. <laughs> when Nick's got a big oh. hammer, something went wrong. <laughs> Actually, we blew our engine in practice. Uh, number two rod let loose, and then we was looking to source the engine here in Washington. And uh, Chelsea Nofa stepped up and was gonna let us go pull the engine out of his demo car uh, that he runs at uh, his drift school uh, in Portland, I believe. And so we were actually on the way there. Uh, Dustin Miles let us borrow his truck, and which you see out here. And Chelsea Les Bar is open trailer. So we we're actually on the way to Chelsea's shop to pull the engine out. And then uh, uh, my friend uh, hit me up and said, hey, I have an engine. It's already pulled. Come to the shop and uh, we'll set you up. Well, we got here and he said, dude, unload your car. We'll do it here. And here you have it. He opened up the shop for us. He's uh, stripping the, uh, the new engine down. The seams, taking the old engine out, getting the blower off, transmission out of there. And, uh, and pretty much swapping our parts off it to put on the, uh, the new engine. All right, we're gonna get to it so we can be back at uh, Evergreen Speedway tomorrow and be ready for Saturday's competition.
up, guys? I'm Jonathan Naren here with my teammate Tyler Nelson. We're here at uh, the beautiful Evergreen Speedway in Monroe, Washington, for round three and four Formula Drift. Uh, we just finished up day two, and uh, it's been some trials and tribulations here. It's been a it's been an overall tough week uh, for us, and um, but you know a good experience, a good learning experience. Coming in uh, Wednesday, we uh, loaded in. Uh, everybody got here. We got to our hotel, got some sleep in. Thursday was our first day of practice. It was raining like crazy. So uh, first run out, I had my very first run here. I followed JTP uh, for, you know, never run the track before and not having, uh, you know, just having, kind of having a neutral setup in there, not knowing what we needed. I was happy with my first run. Um, second run came back around in the burnout box. Uh, our engine let loose. We uh, coming, you know, pulling out of the burnout box, the engine started knocking. So we shut it down and uh, pulled it back into the pits, pushing back, and we ended up uh, breaking a rod. So uh, long story short, we ended up sourcing an engine. Uh, shout out to Chelsea Denofa and Dustin Miles for uh, Chelsea Let Me Borrow oh, yeah. his trailer. He was actually initially going to give me the engine out of his S197 demo car at his shop uh, a little above Portland. And we we're on the way down there with Dustin's truck, Chelsea's trailer and uh, in my car in the back. We used to go to his uh, shop and swap everything over. Uh, about halfway through there, my buddy uh, Trip found an uh, engine, or ended up linking oh, up with a guy it? up here. Nice. Yeah, uh, Trip okay. made a post and um, Sweet. due to grace of God or whatever, somebody uh, somebody seen the post and you know ca called me up and said, hey, I got an engine over here, uh, come put it in. And um, yeah, the deal was awesome. They let us come in, uh, he, he ended up helping us swap the engines out, break the old engine down, and while we were removing the engine out of my car, and ended up helping us out the whole night, uh, you know, put the new engine in. About six hours, and uh, we were fired it up. So, that was yeah. our Thursday. Yeah, I mean, Thursday actually went good for me. Right off the rip, I felt really comfortable with the track. I guess being bank tracks, uh, the majority of the tracks, uh, I ran the past few years in competition. Um, and then, I guess just this, the, the tarmac it felt really consistent in the dry even though it was patchy but the wall was really consistent the radius and it was really fun to just drive here uh, so even in practice i was just having so much fun with the guys i think it helped me learn uh faster that way because um th th these guys have been here seven eight times now or more so i did uh, some chase runs off the bat with jcp and gucci and that really helped me uh, just have the confidence all right we can run with them started doing some uh, lead laps. I'd say after two lead laps, I had it down, and I was just uh, looking forward to battles. I knew I was going against Chris, uh, and I everybody else was saying he won practice, so I knew that I had to give it everything. Uh, for me, uh, I chased first. I put on a really good chase at the end. I just really didn't expect uh, the slow that he did in the a lot of D-cell zone. Um, so I, that's one thing that I just personally have to get used to, knowing where to risk an attack and where, uh, where not to. So, um, and, and that just happens. You gotta put yourself in the right situation for everything to work out for you. Uh, so I put myself in there and, and we just got into him a little too much when he slowed a little too much and it just happened. So it put me in a deficit going into my lead run. So I just kinda let it all, all out there and I did a good lead run. And uh, that was that. He won, but it was, a, it was a good battle. And I was really feeling good coming into the second day against his uh, teammate Dylan Hughes, which obviously they had good data on me. And I know he's good at this track. He did good last year. He's really consistent. And it was a good battle also. Uh, something a little similar. It's just uh, knowing when to attack. And I was on his door and a lot of other drivers and, and myself uh, staple of up there and a lot use the actual a lot of diesel zone to check up and be more consistent to that section so I guess uh, risk management and knowing who you're going against um, might help a little in the future but it was a great run from him uh, I put it on there a little mishap coming off the bank uh, we actually kept the run going and uh, cool. then I went on my lead run the entry felt awesome coming down in the infield uh, I just kind of didn't shift the best came in around the corner and uh, looped it for whatever reason at the end, just trying to go too hard. You have a zero, you have to do something crazy. So that's about about my weekend. <laughs> it was awesome though. I mean, I I actually had so much fun. So that's awesome to be able to come out here, 
uh, in the most competitive uh, setting that I could ever be in and have the most fun. Uh, I feel like years leading up to this competition wasn't as fun. Uh, yeah, uh, for whatever reason, I don't really know, but yeah, this has been a blast. And really no nerves, just a blast. Yeah. You? How was your uh, day today? Man. I know you didn't have much practice. It's just a wild but weekend. You know, going into it, we had one practice. I had one practice lap on Thursday, and then Saturday we, you know, after we put the new engine in, I only had one lap on it. And in uh, Saturday's practice, before going into comp with no lead runs, so my very first lead run out of the whole weekend was my uh, was when I was going against Osbo. You know, so uh, somewhat nerve wracking. Not, I didn't let it get to me, but you know, whenever you're going up there, kind of sight unseen and never doing a lead run is. Um, Gosh, you got to hope for the, you got uh, you know. Kind of hope for the best and you know yeah. put together what you can now we, yeah. it was uh it was what i you know it's the best i could do uh as far as you know, better than i expected you know i guess yeah, we're not we're not doing the layout really yeah, you did great yeah, yeah, that, that we're, was gonna awesome. be, we're gonna be real good here. i also got the win to the win on saturday coming into sunday we got uh more more practice we got two more laps in and i got took some did some lead runs actually and uh so on sunday today earlier today i went against uh Osmo's teammate, Ryan Turk. So again, he actually, right before competition, he wrecked pretty hard into the wall. So I, actually, I wasn't sure if we were gonna battle him or not, but the Papa Doc's crew, like they're, uh, they're on their stuff and they got it back out there uh, just in the nick of time after their five minutes. And uh, so we went for a run and uh, his car's really quick off the line. On the, uh, on the, on the follow, uh, on the follow line, Wait. there's, I don't know, it stayed, it stayed wet right there. I can never get it out did. the hole. It was good. wet the whole just, day. The, whole, the, first, the, second, the whole track year. was dry, a little slick off the bank in, in one section, but the run up and through the cones, wet the whole day. Yeah. And, yeah, and yeah. it changed, it varied, it got patchy too. But, you know, going against him, uh, he, he had a great lead run. Um, I stuck up to him at the very end, and uh, in one of those patchy spots I discussed, it was right, right after I was on three, the car got wheel speed loose, and almost ever rotated on me. Um, you know, but then I, you know, I, I saved it and then got back on him. Uh, I went to lead, and you know, this uh, constituted a weekend. This was like my uh, my third or fourth lead run all weekend, so I just pushed it as hard as I could. A little too hard actually, leaving outer zone three, uh, backed into the wall, and where it, where the uh, the location was at the wall, there was just a lot of marbles right there, and I just couldn't. I, the car wouldn't drive out of it. It was wet, and then marbles, and couldn't get out of it. Save the car. You might see the rear crash bar behind me a little bit bent up. All good. We got spares. Uh, we'll get it. We'll get it buttoned up when we get back to the shop. So, all yeah. in all, both went out top 32 this weekend. Uh, gets you know some of the best in the business. You know, got a learning experience. Got some notes down on the track, and um, you know learn some more on our cars setup wise. And um, you know we'll just take that, uh, take that, and Texas, and head, you know, heading into Texas. Yeah. That's about a month away now since yeah. they moved it. Uh, so good amount of time in between. Good break. I'm ready. We'll be there. I'm ready. Yeah. Boom. Man, Didn't bang. get left hanging. <laughs> Got the win today on that one. Hey, that's a win for me. Yeah, that, that is a win for you. Yeah, yeah. I'll take it too. So we got a win. Um, check us out, uh, Jonathan Aaron Racing on the social medias, Drip Nelco on Instagram Drip and underscore Nelco. Drip underscore Nelco, and then yep. Tyler Nelson Motorsports on Facebook, YouTube. Yep. So, um, yep. That's a wrap for the Shelby Drip team. Watching. Appreciate we'll all the partners and, uh, as usual. Yep. Check your stuff out. Yep. Texas yeah. North Speedway, we'll be there at the end of the month.